morning guys, uh, this is the first of the Float Only League on the River Seven at Budley. Uh, we're at the Budley Pines Golf Club and take note boys, the club has a dress code. So <laughs> no, I don't know what the anglers are going to uh, <laughs> if they're going to get better luck for all the golf, uh, golfers. Oh my god, the sun is in the water there. <laughs> All right, anyway, just arrived early to so have a bit of breakfast and do the draw, hopefully. Two points to cover, um, <coughs> mainly social media. Uh, <laughs> me and Dave and a lot of the other committee have spent about six months flattening Budley and rebuilding it. Uh, one day we walked from peg 120 up to peg one um, to you know make sure all the pegs were perfect, which they were. And then for some unknown reason, there was two inches of rain fell in Welsh Bourne yesterday, which completely screwed everything up. So we had to do it more day did it again yesterday. Walked along there and we've re-pegged everything. We've got, hopefully, uh, most pegs with slacks in them and stuff like that. I'm sorry if, you know, you draw a peg today, one ain't perfect, but, you know, rivers are not perfect. Uh, and it really disappoints me then. So on, on the odd occasion I do go on uh, Facebook, it's normally when I'm drinking cocktails, but I did go on it and just read the negative crap. You know, I just don't want to read it. It's just rubbish. You know, it's it's a platform for you know destroying things really, as far as I'm concerned. And you know, yeah. we just need you know just to be more positive. There's a lot of people who'd like to be fishing today. I bought a feeder rod yesterday, which belonged to a lad who'd love to be here, but unfortunately Andy Patrick's not here. Uh, and he'd like to sit on the bank. So be thankful that you've got your head above ground. You know, if it's a bad pig today, it's not the end of the world. Is it, really? um, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll move on from that. Uh, that was the good news. We'll count the bad bit. Uh, some of the platforms are going to be um, slightly um, underwater, to say the least. So when you set it up today, you don't like, you know, we're bad at school. It starts in again. I'm going to make you sit somewhere in the corner. <laughs> uh, um, you know, you're going to have to set yourself up with the expectation of probably eight inches of water coming on this river today, minimum. Um, not everybody's going to have a perfect peg, and you know that is life. Unfortunately, when the river's like this, on Monday morning it was 0.9 and falling. <laughs> Last night it's like 1.2 and rising. But you know, as godly life as we are, we can't control the water. Um, so we pegged it, hopefully, where you'll catch some fish, and hopefully, you know, the main priority today is to you know get yourself safe in your peg. Don't sort of sit on the edge of the water thinking that's where you're going to be sat at five o'clock because you're not um you know you need to sort of be very aware that the river it's rising about an inch an hour so you've just got to work it out from that really um right so i'll start off with the payout there's 48 of us fishing um but a couple drop out greece unfortunately has had an accident but he's hoping to uh, fish the rest of the matches but we'll see and chris tyler dropped out um so we've got 48 and 25, which is 1,200 quid. I'm doing sections today. So there's eight sections of six. Uh, it's 50 pound a section, which is 400 pound. And then the payout, 800 pounds. Uh, I'm paying the top seven today, which is 145, 135, 125, 115, 105, 95 and 80. I was very good at the five times day, but school. Um, right, so... Um, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's money to play for today. It's 50 quid in every, you know, every section. So, you know, at least you're going to get something out of it. <laughs> so, uh, car parking, I'll leave to Dave in a minute. He'll show you with the car park. We're going to fish 12 till 5. When we go back tonight, we're going to go back to the Ribbon Hall Club tonight. And, um, you know, we need to keep that sort of going as well as this. This is a great venue for doing the draw. There's plenty of car parking. Uh, breakfasts are excellent. Uh, we'll continue to use this throughout the competition um, and as I say, it's here for the festival as well. Um, and normal rules apply. I don't think we need to be talking about wading today. 
if you are wading, I don't think you're doing it voluntarily. So, you know, just, you know if you're here to help, it's it might be voluntarily wading. Yeah. So, you know, but also be just aware of other people in the pegs around you, you know, if anybody's in trouble, for God's sake, you know. There's nothing to risk that much. Um, and I don't think there's anything else we're going to do. So, draw will be 9.30ish. Um, car parking, so David's going to explain that to you. Uh, is there anything else anybody needs to know? Anybody, everybody familiar with where you've got to drive to? Yeah? You know, we've, we've got the whole of the road all the way down to the bottom. There's a possibility down the bottom, I'm not too sure about this, somebody said there was a car on the uh, car park at the bottom. If there's anybody down there, just get them out. They'll only be throwing the feeder in anyway, but get them out. Um, if they won't go out, just give me a ring and I'll come down and get them out. But, you know, make, you make sure that they're not supposed to be there. All right? Um, and I think that's about it. Anybody else? Any other questions? No? Uh, as I said, you know, we're fishing from 12 till 5, alright? Okay? Yeah? Thank you. I'll leave you to do the car parking. Car parking, guys. Um, oh, it is drawing. <laughs> well, well, excellent champ, drawing another flyer. Yeah, another flyer. Another flyer. <laughs> we'll see them. <laughs> Where's Mort? <laughs> Come on, Mort, get your hand in here, son. <laughs> Oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, guys. 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 Oh, do I need a car park there? Top car park? Yeah. I've only got a 20 pound there. You've got to park on Dow's and walk up straight. Big Last week. <laughs> I paid him. <laughs> uh, oh, 20. Uh, Clay Branson. Yeah. Okay. Well, there they are, all talking about uh, the one that got away. I was saying you're all talking about the one that got away. <laughs> oh, well. What have you got, yeah? Uh, number 12. Is that a flyer? It could be anything. It could be anything. Uh, it, it won the, um, won the March Festival, did it? Did they? Oh, there are. They was on a feeder, but I think you lot's far enough away not to hear the slack. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, you always have a good laugh up here, don't we? <laughs> oh, God, you laugh. It's easy as the fishing. I'll tell you what, listen to them bloody. You've got to be kind to the scales. Maybe <laughs> oh, yeah. There may be a few extra hours. Ah, All right. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Peg 18. This is in memory of Keith Potter. Must be one of his favourite pegs. Yeah, so I've got two more pegs to go. Right, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> it's a longer walk. Okay, peg 20. Whew, it's a fair walk. It's like two, two or three fields. But they said it'll be worth it, so let's have a look. Yeah, there's a bit of sack on the inside. Yep. Oh yeah, no platform though. Yeah. Well, what have we got you? Yeah, a bit of a slack. I don't know where I'm going to put my platform. That is awkward. And it's just a little bit of a slack, not much. Oh my God. Well, looks like I've got some work to do here. So they've been cutting trees on. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's a bit of a slack to go for anyway, so. Okay, let's go and tackle up. Okay, another look at it. Um, it's just awkward to put a box anywhere. Um, as I say, it's not the biggest slacks. <laughs> well, I suppose it's going to be better than some. Okay, let's go and tackle up. I think I'll probably... Um, oh, it's a little bleak on the surface then. Hmm, might have to look at them maybe. Uh, I think you need a couple of big fish though today. Possibly. But we shall see. Let's go and tackle up. Okay, it's uh, 12 o'clock, or one minute past. Uh, I haven't heard nothing, so I think I'll uh, carry on. What I've done, I've set up three rigs. Um, been a bit of a rush, but I've set up a whip on the top for the bleak, if there's any. <laughs> um, a little uh, uh, Avon float, uh, which because of the slack, it's about seven foot deep, so it's nice. So I'll be fishing that. Um, and also a pole, uh, or I should say a whip converted with elastic, um, heavy elastic, just in case I hook something big, holding back on a pole float. So uh, let's see how I get on anyway. Um, and I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you after an hour or so. See what I do.
see, uh, the match is about an hour and a half in. Um, had a couple of uh, roach, a couple of small dice, and a couple of perch um, on the uh, on the pole. Uh, well, whip come pole, heavy elastic. Um, had a couple on the uh, even as well, and I've just gone back um, back on the pole now. So uh, um, little knobs of ground bait and putting casters, uh, hemp and maggot in. Um, but uh, this river, I think, is coming up a bit. It's getting a bit more coloured as well. So uh, I don't know if it's going to get worse or or better. <laughs> but um, just getting the presentation right. That's, oops, so seven. Still seven uh, trains, <laughs> right opposite. The river's come up, it's come up a few inches. Um, I've had a few fish. Uh, oh dear, those trains are noisy. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had a couple of um, odd fish. You know, I've had a little chub, about a pound, pound a bit. I had a skimmer, of all things, um, and a roach, a few roach. A couple of perch, a couple of dice. Not a big weight, but uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what uh, what's been caught today. I haven't seen a soul. <laughs> so uh, I'm on a single maggot at the moment on a twenty. Just picked up a little skimmer on it. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's been pretty quiet really. Oh. Bump something in. Yeah, bottom. <laughs> hmm. It's getting quite boily out there now. Anyway, not long to go now. Um, Be interesting to see if anyone else is caught in this section. <laughs> Seems to be plenty of little small fry topping. Okay, <laughs> there you are, six pound eight. Bit of a mixture. One chub, little skimmer, some roach, nice roach, and, uh, and a couple of days. Yeah, and they reckon that could be the sexual window longer. Yeah? <laughs> so we'll go and see now. Uh, well, you know what they say. <laughs> uh, Angus tell pibs that those are they. <laughs> All right, let's go and see uh, how we've done then. Right, right. Presentation, please. Come on. Have a bit of order. Yeah, a bit of order, please. Oh, you want a bit of money? I just, I just, I knew. I just knew. Yeah. The end of my.
Hello, Hello, Jim. Hello, little Jim. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, the only good thing about that thing is uh, it supports something much in the what Premier League. Uh, unlike, oh, oh, sorry. unlike a lot of other things. Uh, right, um, today was a bit of a difficult day, but I'm afraid it has to go ahead in a way because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in the next five matches and if we'd have cancelled this because there's a meter on there. Is that thing kiss me then? <laughs> he it. Just bring, let me kiss him back. <laughs> um, I thought you done you. <laughs> yeah, she's done me normally. Um, right, so you know, I mean, you know, I think we're all in agreement. You know, it's it's had to go ahead, and to be quite honest, it didn't wish too bad. Um, you know, so you know. It has okay, it is, and then, you know, one got me there. one round out the way. They did you, they danced. Uh, yeah. Put my jacket on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so I'll start off with the sections, right? Oh, I thought you'd gone. Oh, yeah, I've gone all down here. I can't slag it off when you're in the room. Uh, right, so um, we'll start off on the sections first. Uh, Section one, it actually contributed to the river level going up because you put about 400 weight of ground baits in there. Uh, off peg 20 is Clive Branson with six band eight. Well done, Clive. Thank you. Well, 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 Thank you. Um, section two, which was section 24 to 41, off peg 31. Um, with five pound ten is Andy Tate. Woo! Don't anybody dare say what? Yeah. <laughs> um, section three, uh, forty three to sixty. Um, I think you've actually, to win a section, you've actually got to live in a brick building. Paul Um Section 4, 62 to 72B, I've pegged 72B, uh, if £5.15 is Adrian Agar. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need the money, Jerry, between the houses. Put it behind the bar. Shall I do what they do on TV show? Just stick it behind the bar. Right. Uh, peg. Uh, sorry. Section five of seventy-two E. Uh, who rung me up complaining about the ducks and the kids and the dogs and whatever else? Uh, with eight pound twelve. Phil Baker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. 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 Section seven. Oh, I think I'm so Pick section seven. Uh, section ninety-two to one hundred six. Uh, off. <laughs> uh, with five pound off one hundred five is Dave Roberts Kent. Is he here? Oh. Okay, right, there's another one there. And um, two behind the bar. There's two behind the bar. Section eight. Um, I would eight pound four, then the section is 108 to 119. And he hasn't got wind, he's actually going to smile when I give him 50 pounds. He's Jim Wilson. <laughs> Right, uh, brings me to the uh, top prizes now. Uh, this is, is going to hurt so much. This is going to hurt so much. Um, this is going to be good, this dinner. No, 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 no. How did you, I want to know first what weight float you had on today, because I've seen the one float you got in your hand. 
Are you talking to me? Or yeah, bloody you, you know who I'm talking to. Nobody else is in, in these uh, in disputes about my size plate. Yeah, there was too much in that. Can anyone? Come on. How big, how big was your float? It's in the corn. Five gram was his 10%. It's in the corn. Yeah, five gram. I've seen the bloody thing. You're going to take it. You're going to take it. You're going to take it. Look at them all. She takes all of them. Right, in seventh place. Uh, Actually using a float which was more than his weight when he's caught uh, is Jim Burton off peg 92 yeah. with 8 pound 15 with an 80 quid. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. well done. You what? You, you listen to the reason well, she can't. Why, why didn't you win a section then instead? I have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just leave the fucking rack in the can. Hey! Stop fasting! He's waiting gadget. 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 It's coming, guys. It's coming, guys. It's coming, guys. It's coming, guys. A lad who actually admitted today that I'm marginally better looking than him. Uh, with nine pound thirteen uh, off peg hundred and eleven is Andrew Bruton. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're being touched by a young, good-looking lad, but that little. <laughs> Have you noticed he's had his hair dyed like us? Yeah, I know, he looks yeah. <laughs> the, he more the gym, and the other teddy bear. Right, in fifth place, off 115 with nine pound fourteen. Uh, winning oh, 105 pounds, Ian Hughes. Well done, Ian. 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 Right, in fourth place, uh, I've, had to, I've had to tell him off twice today, so I made him up five pounds. He was talking in lessons this morning. Uh, off, uh, with 12 pounds 14, off peg GM1 is Paul Newell. <laughs> Uh, right, in third place, obviously, um, proves that uh, how easy the river fish to die to get in third place with 13 pound off peg 106 is Evo. And this will actually go towards buying him a new fucking tooth. Oh, no, 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 Looks like something from Dudley. Right, second place uh, off peg 75. We didn't really fancy it this morning, but strangely enough, does now. Uh, with £13.7, winning himself. £135 is Jeff really Well done. Yeah. 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 Now, I, want to, I don't want any nasty comments from any of the Avon boys or anything here. Um, a well-liked chap from, I don't know where he lives, but um, <laughs> we're, we're off peg 37 with £15 4 ounce, winning himself £145, Peter Morris. Well done, everybody. That was a, a bit of a grown up, but that's life. Um, see you all on July the 10th.